All right, I get to do some uh, machine shop stuff today. Um, I have this out of my new microscope. This is the illuminator um, section uh, that has the prisms in it. Uh, this is this moves the you can see it here. It moves the uh, moves the prisms in and out for light field, dark field, and uh, the light comes in here, and then you look through it that way. And so it needs to have an illuminator on on this side of it now. Uh, from Olympus, it had a big uh, light bulb and heat sinks and everything and came in here and attached. Um, I found that this flashlight works pretty good for this thing. And uh, it is exactly the same, almost not exactly, but it's almost the same diameter as this uh, here. These are both about one inch. And so uh, what I need to do is make something to hold these together per permanently. And um, it's really nice. Now the flashlight also has focusing. It has a barrel that can go in and out. You can get a wide beam this way or a narrow beam this way. And that's also nice for the illumination. Sometimes it likes a wide beam. Sometimes it likes a narrow beam. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll make it so it's, this is sticking out and I can push it in, push it in and out. So that'll, that'll be nice. I needed some stock material to hold this all together. Um, and so I got some uh, thick wall tubing, one inch ID and uh, eighth inch wall. So that will be, that will be perfect. It's just, just barely, it just barely won't fit. So I can bore this out. And so I think my first operation will be to uh, bore this out and then put some set screws in it. There's a groove here for the set screws to bite into. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll put it in the, uh, put it in the lathe, I'll dress the end, I'll bore out the middle, and um, at least get this part working, and then figure out how I want, how long I want to make it, and, uh, and attach the other end. So, yeah, let's go do that. All right, uh, I have my tube made. Uh, Got to use my inside uh, inside measurement tool, which is fun. So this goes in here like that, and then the uh, flashlight goes on the other side. Looks good. I need to put some holes in here now and um, uh, figure out what I want to do. Um, I think these holes are okay. I'm not quite sure if I want to. Uh, crank down on the flashlight quite yet. Not sure where I want to put the screw, so I'm going to leave it an open tube. See how it works in the microscope. But we can at least uh, we can at least put this uh, uh, groove in here. Let's go measure that. Let's see if I can kind of estimate where the center of the groove is here. Lighting's not great here. The center's right about. There, 2.6, what, what is two and a half? Figure they'll put it on an even mark, right? They're Japanese, they're probably gonna, probably gonna put it on even mark. I think two and a half is probably pretty good. Yeah, two and a half I think is fine. So I will go ahead and transfer that, transfer that onto here. Um, I don't know if I need, uh, I'll also put some black on it here. Uh, do I need two for now or just one? I think it's better probably to have two, maybe 90 degrees apart. All right, so let's mark, let's mark that, mark, mark this. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'll probably use a 4, 440 set screw. So let me put some holes in here and put some set screws on. All right, got my set screws in. Let's see if uh, see if this is going to work. Oh, very rigid, very nice. 
Then my uh, flashlight will slide in here. A nice tight fit. What happened? I think there's a... I think I got... A, a, yeah, just got something in there. All right, that's going to work out. That's going to work out great. All right, put it on the microscope and uh, the microscope, try it out.